I know you've seen different kinds of milky donuts, but this is by far the best recipe of milky donuts you're going to see. I mean, take a look at the milky filling inside of this donut. It looks so, so attractive, not messy and runny. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make the trendy milky donuts. I have flour, I have um, a host of other ingredients. Flour is there, margarine, 50 gram. I have sugar, 120 gram. I have one tablespoon of yeast. The yeast is an instant dry yeast, so you can use it right away. I have one egg and I have one cup of water. And that's all. Basically everything you need for this recipe. So I'll be sieving the flour into my mixing bowl. And you want to sieve your flour to remove any um, dirt or debris that might be in flour. So you want to make sure that you sieve everything thoroughly. Now, once that is done, I'll proceed to add um, the sugar. Sugar is 120 gram, flour is 500 gram, and I'll now add the yeast. So pretty much just dumping everything together in the mixing bowl, add the margarine, and then I'll proceed to add the egg and water. That's all. That's all. When using eggs to bake, you want to make sure that you break it in a separate bowl because the egg can spoil. And if you break it directly into whatever you are mixing, it's going to spoil everything. Now add the water, one cup of water, pour it into the mixing bowl, and then I'll proceed to mix with a mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can always use your hands. This is the hook for the mixer. It's a dough hook. And this is what you're going to use for um hard any hard thing that you want to mix in your mixer so things like dough generally this is what you are going to use to mix now i'm going to fix it and then i'll mix the dough for 20 minutes while making sure that my mixer is resting at intervals so i can do five minutes four times and making sure that my mixer is resting or i can do 10 minutes straight this mixer has a timer so i can just me, um, turn it on and then leave it because it's going to automatically go off by 10 minutes mark if your mixer does not have a timer like this one please set the stop clock or just set a timer the first few minutes this is how it's going to look and afterwards it's going to come together so at this point it's almost ready you can see that the down part of the mixer is very very clean you know that it's almost ready and afterwards, I'm going to take it off the mixer and proceed to the next step, which is to cut, measure, and mold into my desired shape. You want to make sure that you dust your work surface with a little bit of flour and then bring out your tray, dust it with a little bit of flour as well. Some people use parchment paper. I do not use that. I just use flour alone. So I'm going to be measuring 75 grams of this um, dough each that would give us 12 standard donuts so 75 gram each of this dough now proceeding to molding the dough you're going to knead it against the table gently what you want to achieve is to make your dough smooth on that side so after it is very smooth you make sure you put a little bit of flour on your palm as little as was on my palm and then you begin to join the back so the other side is already neat and smooth while this is the side that you now want to join together so if you do not join this part together and you proceed to fry everything is going to open up so you are just going to do as if you are stitching it joining it together if you um, kneaded your dough properly and you mixed it properly it's going to glue together so as you can see that i'm doing there just trying to stitch everything together <laughs> in a layman's term. Just trying to join everything together. And then I have a perfect ball. I place it on my dusted pan and I press it a little so that it can be oval. And it's ready to be proofed. After proofing for one hour, this is what I get. So you proof for one hour and I proceed to frying. To know if your oil is hot enough, sprinkle a little bit of flour and you'll see them spread over the oil. Then you're good to go. Now I'm going to drop each of the dough right into the oil and then I'm going to allow it to fry three minutes on each side. So you hold it carefully and then drop it in the oil. If you cannot hold it like this, you can use a lifter. You would need a skewer 
and a spoon like that other one. After three minutes, you turn it using the skewer onto the other side and you can see the white lines in the donuts. Now it's time to pack off the eat because each side is now properly done. You get a tray and line it with kitchen roll and then you begin to remove the donuts one after the other. If you have a lot of batch that you are producing, you can use a bigger spoon to pack it up the oil and you repeat the same process till you are done frying. Now the donut is ready and it's time to fill and decorate the donut. Now this is different from the regular because we are going to be using white chocolate. Like this is a real milky donut. So this white chocolate, we're going to melt it either in the microwave or using a double boiler. And of course, I'll be using powder milk. This is what we are going to use to decorate the body of the donut. So this powder milk can be any one of your choice, but I prefer full cream milk because they are very, very sweet. I'll use a piping bag that I've cut and a spatula to pack my white chocolate. So now let's proceed to coat the donut with powder milk. So I'll just place the donut inside the milk, roll it over on all sides till every part is fully coated with milk. Pretty much easy. So if you're a sweet tooth, you're going to enjoy this kind of donut. So I'm going to repeat the same process over and over again till I'm done with all of the donuts that I want to coat with milk. So like I mentioned earlier, use full cream milk. This kind of milk are very sweet and you are going to enjoy your donuts that way. I cut the donut with milk. The chocolate has been in the microwave for three minutes and it has melted. So what I just do is just add a little bit of water and then mix it together. If you do not add water, the milk, the chocolate is going to add in up. So when they open your donut, it's going to look like meat. It's going to be very hard. So add a little bit of water. Don't, don't make it too much so that it doesn't become so runny. So pack everything and put in a piping bag and then proceed to pipe inside your donut. Before you do that, poke hole in your donut with a knife or a spoon or a dual rod or a skewer, and then proceed to fill. Fill it to the brim so that your customers or you yourself will enjoy um, the milky donut. If you've watched the video up until now, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. You're going to enjoy a lot of freebies here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well and turn on post notifications so that you'll be the first to know when I share new videos. Now the milky donut is ready. I'm going to take one and open it up so that you'll see what you're going to be serving your customers or what you're going to be enjoying yourself. Let's see how that goes. Oh my God, that looks so good. It looks so delicious. It looks so um, attractive. It's not runny and messy. Now tell me, are you going to be recreating this recipe? Let me know in the comment section. Till I come your way again next time, my name remains Titi Layo. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.